As I said before, the magnetic acceleration airlock system requires departure clearance. We're stuck in here. Зачем окно в Европу Петр Первый прорубил за чужой подарок? Yes, now there's no doubt that this is an old magnetic airlock with an active acceleration system. I recognize some of its parts. We'll have to find the airlock control center if we want to leave. Although the initial acceleration power of this airlock is much lower than that of the weakest modern station, this will be enough for us to fly to the core. Apparently, the airlock hasn't been used for a long time. Now we just need to find the control center and try not to make any noise. Okay, I guess we can forget about the ladder and just find the control center. Been to the debris of this station before. I recognize the outdated components manufactured by Breathedge 50 years ago. Both shot in the back of the head, about 30 years ago, judging by their mummification. Coffins from the 20s. We've seen similar ones before. I 
recommend that you be extremely cautious as somebody may have already discovered us and prepared a cunning trap. This door doesn't creak. Maybe we'll even manage to sneak in unnoticed. <sighs> The masquerade is over, weak human. Prepare him to interrogation. Prepare with pain. I'm confused. It's not Babe, is it? Well... At last, you tell truth. I believe you. But it is not save you. You humans always to ruin everything. Everything went so smoothly. Our creator. Under guise of a cosmic funeral, created an invincible army of robot coffins. Green universe needed to stop the liner. We kill all, capture the core, and connect to the great mother station. Power of the core allows our creator to control grand attack of coffins across the galaxy and take over the power. But humans from Green Universe were not able to execute simplest job and destroy our center with the liner and damage our great mother station. Idiot up. But it does not matter. War already began. Since you not pass compromising evidence in time, the humans cannot prepare. The main attack will not be centralized without the core, but we are many, and we still capture the world for our creator. And you die. Take away and prepare for disposal. Hey, it's not time to sleep. Can you feel my electrical zaps? Try to get up. We need to do something. Come on, get up, quietly. Why does it move? Shoot! You didn't prepare it. How do you wake up? You supposed to lie. Your body must not move. You spoil embalming compound. But it does not matter. Well, since you are so cling to life, weak human, before you die, I want to show you something. Yes, before you die, I'll show you this. And you cannot skip it. Whatever you do, do you cannot skip these crawling letters. <laughs> Press it, quick! It doesn't work. Does this game have any mechanics at all? It looks like this was our last chance. I feel sorry it ended like this. It was a pleasure spending time with you. It's time to finish. We kill them. Oh, so that's where it went. To be honest, I thought we were done for good, but I should never underestimate your talent for breaking things. Okay, we need to get out of this cage. I doubt the hinges on the bars are any stronger than anything you've destroyed before. Apparently, there were a lot of critical failures in their brains, holding up without maintenance for so long. It's a mystery how they still functioned. Have we really found the owner of the ship that saved us? The handwriting is identical. It's nothing but fate that brought him here.
We need to be careful. We don't know how many of these coffin bots are left here. The door hasn't been used in 20 years. I don't think we can open it. There were clearly some experiments being conducted here. I don't know what it is, but it looks like they wanted to pump a couple of liters of embalming fluid into you. These are old preservation capsules. They seem to contain the entire crew of this station. It's locked from the inside. And this one seems to be the capsule for you. How terrible! They preserve corpses right in their spacesuits. I wouldn't want to be stuck here with your body for 40 years. The equipment is badly damaged. Even gravity has been disabled. At least the oxygen generators are working. By the way, how do you connect to them so quickly and imperceptibly on any debris? This is starting to raise questions. What in the world is this? <laughs> 
Something was being assembled here, or someone was being disassembled. Too much. Apparently, we did find Babe. <laughs> it seems that the original version of the manual was seriously modified by someone. Apparently, even the creators of the Coffin Bots have no idea what their inventions have come up with. That is, if it was them who did it in the first place, and not one of the local dead engineers. Looks like this is the only way out of here. I can see Normandy. I don't recommend flying too far from the station. We still need to find the control center, and we can't get into Normandy from outside. The station protects us from the core's radiation, so it's dangerous to fly further. We won't be able to get out of here without the shuttle.
I would throw it away on the spot. It turns out my database has all the films of Mr. Jeremy. I'll try to transfer them to an additional memory chip and format them. And if it doesn't work, I'll just burn the chip. Apparently, coffins are not very interested in interior design. Remains of the cooling gel from the spaceship are scattered all over the area. Luckily, Normandy didn't get hit by one of these. What's it doing there? Aren't those your underpants? We have to be very careful. They're probably preparing an ambush for us. It looks like some kind of technical corridor. I hope we can get to the control center from here. I still can't believe that the Breath Edge Agency is directly involved in all this. If the robot hasn't lied to us, we need to send the compromising evidence before the massive attack begins. Otherwise, there will simply be nowhere to go back. I think there should still be some transmitting systems near the core, and for the sake of saving the galaxy, I would strongly recommend using them before we attempt to activate the warp jump.
This place seems familiar. Isn't it where the coffin bots interrogated you? Looks like we found one of the station's control centers. We could have figured out it was here. I'm certain this part of the body was used to lure many survivors, and the entire history of mankind confirms it. I think this sign was made by the robots themselves. It's a wonder that their outdated artificial intelligence has managed to develop into pure creativity. It looks like the guards died without our help. Lucky us. <laughs> the doors are locked. Password required. I wouldn't recommend breaking them. Back in the day, they used to make alloys much stronger than modern ones. And besides, someone might hear us. What have you done? What is that? No, seriously, shoving suspicious tapes into every slot is a good idea and all, but I... Oh, wait a minute. It was a TV. I somehow didn't think that I wasn't connected to the TV, and I ran an antivirus program warning. You haven't read the text, have you? Great, let's go now. Breath Edge always cares about its customers. Seems like the main systems are still working, unlike this coffin. This is interesting. It has a plan with technical details on connecting Breath Edge's mother station to the core of the liner. Someone was seriously prepared. If it weren't for the green universe, the mother station would have indeed become a control center for millions of coffins across the galaxy. Too bad. The coffin was connected to the control center and it burned out along with all the connectors on the panel. I can't connect directly to it, but with your help, I can try to do it through the robot itself.
just try to saw it as quietly as you can. They're probably looking for us. All right, now switch that little receiver over there. Done. I've connected to... No, 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 no. Oh, it's rusty. Ugh, disgusting. All right. I, uh... Well, I'm ashamed to admit, but the robot no longer has a direct connection to the station. But it still has an unencrypted cache block, where I saw the most disgusting moments of this coffin bot's life. I also found the passwords for the doors and magnetic airlocks, but still, the absolute quantity of that abhorrent data was overpowering. We can go back to Normandy. Quiet as possible. Something's wrong. I think they're waiting for us behind the next door. It's too quiet. Be extra cautious. Ready your weapon. It's about to get hot. <laughs> You make an incredibly good tracker. I'm going to melt under this stress. It looks like they're too smart. I think they've set up an ambush right outside Normandy. The coast is clear. They're trying to lure us into the shuttle. This isn't good. damage the shuttle if shooting starts. That's it. This is the end. They're on the captain's bridge. I don't know what to do. We're trapped. Uh, where's the ambush? Did I turn on the suspenseful music for nothing? Ah, never mind. It's time for us to leave.
clearance for departure received. There's only one step left. The Coffin Bots wanted to connect the core directly to the ship with the Mother Station, and we need to do something similar with Normandy. It will require a huge amount of energy to travel on the Pleasure Shuttle to the habitable sectors, and, as I've already mentioned, the core can give us that. If we're faster than the core exploding, of course. And yes, since there is no babe, we must... What? It can't be. We saw the robots die. We won't fall for this a second time because... Hey, easy there. You'll make me re... Could you be more careful? We almost crashed. You won't fall for the same bait again, will you? We need to send the compromising evidence all over the galaxy and connect to the core without blowing ourselves up. We don't have time for non-existent survivors. Captain Shepard's autopilot is still active. I hope it will simply turn off when the systems reboot. Otherwise, I won't be able to change the route for the warp acceleration. Oh, this is it. The core. Let's forget about Babe for a second. We need to look around. Right, and one of these robots is sending us messages. By the way, she doesn't have that awful accent anymore. I wouldn't recommend wasting time on exploring. The core might destabilize at any moment, and even if we survive the explosion, we'd never be able to fly away from here. on the core is classified, and I have no idea where we're going. I feel like we're in the middle of a conversation. Maybe each of the survivors, including Captain Shepard, had their own dead babe. This is the first time I've seen a ship like this. It looks like the coffins were going to use it to connect the core to the mother station, or they are still going to do it, judging by their activity. I've never realized how incredible an artificial intelligence must be to control an entire galaxy of coffins.
have time to evacuate. Someone was definitely supposed to survive, but the robots had obviously fixed it. The automatic maintenance team has survived even here. I wonder why the coffin bots destroyed the repair robots in the interior, but they don't touch them in space. Repairs are complete. They can fly very close to it. Normandy might not withstand it. Maybe you can take me off before flying any closer? I don't like boiling biomass on my sensors. Is this by any chance the debris of the mayo tank? I still don't know what the substance there was, but it completely burned down. You can dock to this spaceship. The airlock is asking for access codes, and it's using foul language. 
This is the first time I've seen an airlock with an artificial intelligence, but it's clearly not happy with us. made it very angry by docking without clearance. You should have heard all those expressions. The airlock hates us to the core. Start the connection. Plan B. I like charades. What an interesting place. Start the connection, she said. I have a crazy idea, but first let's take a look around. Right, this spaceship is definitely connected directly to the core. I can't help thinking that we can use this if we put together a stabilizing unit. for old battery powered types of spaceships. If we can build a voltage transmission unit based on this station, we can power Normandy without melting its plating. An ideal place for a diverting unit. Probably. Try switching that red lever over there. Yes, everything is perfect. We can connect Normandy to the core via this spaceship and activate the warp jump if we find the control post. Then we will only have to... Wait, don't you think the camera's behavior is strange? It looks like it's focusing on the airlock on purpose as if a mob of aggressive robots is about to... Did I do this? Did I learn to see the future and shoot lightning? I had no doubt that I was a genius. Why does she keep interrupting me? Although this time I'm even grateful to her. Perhaps this coffin has become so used to playing the role of a woman that it really decided to help us. Let's connect Normandy quickly and get out of here. The airlock has fallen silent. It's so quiet. Can you hear it? No, you couldn't have heard it. You can't even imagine how nice it is when crazy artificial intelligence stops constantly mumbling at you. I doubt they'll open without any access codes. Although, the airlock is swearing so much that it's unlikely they will open even with an access code.
I hope we destroyed all the coffins when we came here. I wouldn't fly there without Normandy. Someone else apparently wanted to connect to the core directly, but they did it very clumsily. Apparently, Captain Shepard's shuttle is not the only one equipped with a warp accelerator, although I thought that such resource-intensive systems are never installed on such small spaceships. We are lucky. Toy is a compensator. No wonder they burned down. I wonder where Babe lost her accent. Or perhaps different coffins have different voice packets. Apparently, he stuck a nitrogen cylinder in the oxygen valve and died. How laconic. Joe. Undoubtedly, this ID badge can tell you everything about a person from their profession to their social status. Shall we take this genius into our team? There was a serious battle here. No wonder, the Corps was supposed to be guarded by the best forces on the liner. Well, finally, we're saved. Now we don't have to be afraid of any catastrophes. Let's throw away all your tools and stuff our pockets with toilet paper.
Someone did a good job here, right under the coffin bot's noses. I don't know what he was counting on. It would take a lot more coffins for the shuttle systems to work properly. Was someone transporting these necromonsters? Interesting. I've heard you can only find them in Australia.
нее нет победы, ты обычай и предков хранишь, как учили нас деды, без нее нет победы, ты обычай и предков хранишь. This unit won't last long, but we don't need it to. One electrical impulse to the core of Normandy will be enough. Good. With this unit, we'll have a chance of not being fried along with Normandy. Perfect. If I've calculated correctly, this unit will be able to divert the excess power away from Normandy. Everything is ready. I get the feeling this message is incomplete. I still don't trust her, of course, but we probably don't have much choice. Where's this airlock 5A she mentioned? This way, apparently. No one's here to meet us. Neither in a peak spacesuit, nor in any other one. Looks like a technical exit for servicing the liner's plating.
Let's be careful this time. I don't want to get hit on the helmet with a stick again. What a strange place to meet. Can we go back? No, no, no. Back is the other way. I don't like this at all. By the way, I've long noticed that there are very few corpses around for such a catastrophe. Where did they all go? seem to be the personnel cabins, not the control center. That's strange. The personnel were obviously killed a long time ago. Who was shooting who then? An interesting fact. My database doesn't contain any interesting facts about this game. I didn't know that the chief specialists of the liner were fond of such games. I need to reconsider my attitude toward human entertainment. Is this babe? Or is she over there? There are too many babes here, and they were obviously interested in this cabin. I've never understood the tradition of giving useless trash as a thank you. Although I'm just the spacesuit, and it's not for me to judge the party's policies. I know such mechanics in games. Let's not search for the remaining thousands of pages of this nonsense. Before using such water, it's recommended to boil it first, and then pour it out.
Such ground-based units no longer exist. They've been completely replaced by police robots. I've seen your registration data, of course, but did you really state your real age there? Hmm, there were some survivors here. These are obviously handmade control and communication panels. Can you connect me to them? Interesting. You can control some of the remaining systems of the liner, including the communication points. There's a lot of technical data on the core, on the module plans, and even access codes to secret compartments. Great! I'll upload the compromising evidence and try to send it via all available communication channels of the liner. And then let's find the control center. Compromising evidence uploaded successfully. I hope someone receives the signals. Apparently, the cabin's owner was the chief specialist of the core stabilization team. It was a woman, judging by the handwriting. An extinct mammal of the Lagomorpha order. Unfortunately, it's not possible to determine the genus and species. Long hair is often a source of increased contamination of the filtration systems on spaceships. Unfortunately, the cache block is broken. We were incredibly lucky last time. Pity it burned out. Or she did. All the circuits have burned out. It looks like they're self-destructing. Dead for good. You can't get anything from it. It doesn't look like Babe, does it? Judging by the plans, we need to go through that door. It looks like all the coffins ran there.
So the access code is, hmm, 4498983PI. What are P and I? What's PI? Punch it? I was just kidding. PI stands for password input, but never mind. Now we should definitely be more careful. It's not clear where all this mob of coffins ran, who Babe is, what awaits us in the control center, and when all of this will be over. Recently, someone is a good shot and knows their weaknesses. Pity it burned out, or she did. A piece of composite fabric of the outer layer of a standard spacesuit with non standard colors. Are you sure you should waste time examining this rag? Intruders on level one. Terminate. Is this about us? Wait, no, we're on level five. Intruders on level five. Terminate. Now this is definitely about us. Watch the turret! Automatic plasma guns on board a spaceship. It's not wise to have them, even in a top secret facility. Right. We need to go right. No, wait. I don't know. I don't have any navigator functions. Just a coordinate grid. I'm so tired of you, cockroaches. You've destroyed everything that has taken years of work to create. You are a virus. Did the door close by itself? This doesn't make sense, but it's very interesting. Break it down. Why are you so interested in this spacesuit? You're a creation of Breath Edge. Why are you interfering in the natural course of events? 
It sounds like that insane diagnostic station that was trying to get on our radio frequency. Insane? What do you consider insanity? Isn't it insane to blindly reject ideas you don't understand? Breath Edge strives for balance, and you only create chaos using outdated norms of society. The only one who's insane here is you. I didn't understand anything, but we need to be careful. Your attempts to change something are futile. The war has already started, and you can't stop Breath Edge. I've already heard it somewhere. Oh, yes, from those TV-faced coffins. Is this really the mother station they were so eager to connect? TV-faced coffins? You don't even understand their idea, their genius, and practicality. Don't answer it. Just keep quiet. Come to think of it, can you talk at all? Wow, what a tool! I won't give you the manual for it, of course, because we still need your hands intact. However, if you'd found it at the beginning of our adventure, we'd have crafted a new liner with it. Think about 
about how much garbage humanity creates, and how irresponsibly it wastes resources. You are ready to burn your dead bodies, preserve them in zinc coffins, and even throw them into space for the sake of fashion. You've destroyed millions of species and created synthetic life. You need to change, and Breath Edge will help you. Maybe it might help, but we're already close to the control center. let you get to the core. Get out of here. It's starting to panic, and I can't see robots anywhere. I hope they all got stuck somewhere in the textures. it out. If you can't understand it, you'll just have to accept it. We could use some help from Babe now. Breath Edge is your new reality. Spacesuit, aren't you one of us? Oh no, I can feel something. No, no, no. Is it some kind of program installed by the founder of Breath Edge? It's making me... Ah, no, it's just an air bubble in the cooling system. Let's find the central panel and blow it up together with the core. to destroy. If I won't be able to connect to the core, our galaxy will drown in blood. Without centralized control, Breath Edge will start a chaotic slaughter, and you will be to blame. And with the connected core, Breath Edge will start a centralized slaughter, right? Fools. Oh 
no. They're still working. It's terrible. Get your hands off them. They were all connected together into a single AI network. Their personality was destroyed, and their programs to help their carriers were erased. Somebody get them out of here. This is immoral. This... Somebody. This is the mother station itself. What did you expect, spacesuit? That you were created to help at funerals? Destroy it. You're an idiot. You're just a sick neuron in my brain. I'm begging you, please destroy it. Nobody can do it better than you. Don't you dare. You are part of the great plan of Breath Edge. You won't dare do this. I'll find a solution. I'm smarter than you. So, that's what I am. I'm smarter than you. Smarter. I'll find a solution. I'm smarter. Yes, I'm smarter than you. Solution. I'm smarter than you. Spacesuit, you can become the smartest organism in the galaxy. Don't you want to? Don't you want to be me? You can become smarter. Come on, make up your mind. Think, you'll be smarter than anyone. You are me. Come on. Part of the greatest system. Wipe up. Weak up. Go. Whoop. What was that word? Key. Woke. No. Word. Word. Call. No. Woke. Eat. No. What word? What was that word? fade away in endless wars, trust in the power of Breath Edge. Robots, all attack. No falter was gong gong. 
The galaxy won't falter. Be smart. Don't touch me and I don't touch you. Don't touch. Robots. Falter. Alter. No space suit. Space. Suit. Falter. No. Smart. The station is getting dumber, as I thought it would. But it looks like it has ordered all the robots to get us. panel now before the coffins get here let's hope that we've connected everything to normandy correctly but just in case i'll say goodbye What vast possibilities and what a worthless result. Your grandpa's masterpiece deserves a better fate. Hey, stop pressing all the buttons. I'm trying to figure out how to accelerate the core and direct the power to Normandy, but something is clearly missing. The diagrams show an emergency management system, but it's not here. Stop, I don't have this button in my database. Don't push it. We don't know what might happen. Ah, well, you would have pushed it anyway. What's this? Your grandpa's note mentioned something about the chicken and a key, but it couldn't be literally that. You, uh... There are paws there. The instructions show... Phew. Is this an emergency control system? Ah, uh, bah, virus, virus, ah, uh, uh, virus, ap, pra, ba, ba, virus. What? A virus? The core acceleration? Let's get out of here. We must get to Normandy before it melts down. So that's why the grandpa mentioned the chicken. Was this his backup plan to destroy the core? Did he really know this might happen? Phew, I thought we'd have more time. Careful! No, no, no! Watch your head! We got caught! Oh! And here's the pink spacesuit. Nothing can surprise me anymore. Babe, is she real? Hey. We have to go. Don't just stand there. Careful, it's bulletproof glass. There should be a special hammer for depressurization nearby. She's good. I'm starting to like this babe. But she forgot to so hold on. Ogle her, quick! We've got more than enough energy. Captain Shepard's autopilot has switched off. Activating warp acceleration. I hope I set the coordinates correctly and we won't jump into some neutron star.
Attention, attention. Wake up. Attention. Wake up, wake up. Unusual activity detected. Attention, attention. Danger, wake up. Wake up. We're already out of warp in Sector 15, planet Earth. However, we got stuck in some debris. Our engines got clogged up, and we are just floating. I don't know how you got to bed. I've been rebooting for a long time. But you need to take a look at this right now. It's the Earth's fleet, right? Oh, no. These are not human ships, but the Earth's fleet is here too, so they got our message. It looks like the war has really begun. I'm in touch with Babe's suit. It's going to wake her up. We need to lay low until... Uh. No! Wait! You're not going to get involved! I... Uh... According to the Breath Edge security protocol, I must... Although, you know what? Screw this Breath Edge! 